Nostalgia's a bitch, huh? I thought for sure when I got back from Iraq, you would be long gone. Is that what you want? We're not kids anymore. What I want doesn't matter. Freedom, love, and they thrive on our tragedy. We can't get Where are you gonna go? Tennessee? Really? No. No, there are a couple people who still need me here. Pick up a work at the junkyard till I figure something else out. Good. Good? Spend the night with some old friends. I mean, think about. I don't know. Who I was when this started. Before I went to war. Where I stand, nothing's changed. Yeah. Including the way you look at me. And that's a problem for me, Garen. Because every time you look at me, I'm 17 again. And I forget that the last 10 years even happened. And then you look away, and I remember all over again. And it almost kills me every time. And I never look away. Not really. What are you doing? someone that I've liked. As much as I like you.
I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm fine. That is I'm not fine. healing right. You need to get it looked at. I'm fine. I just forgot about it for a second. Because for a second, I forgot about everything except you. I can't be your medicine. What? You've changed since my dad found us that night. You're starting fights with jocks. I know that you broke into the drugstore last week. Now you're not going to UNM. That's a money thing. You got a scholarship. Look, I like doing this with you, but not if it's just so that you can forget about something else. Like how you and Max haven't hung out at all this summer. Are you in love with Max? Are you serious? Hey, you can tell me, okay? You guys were close. Like, really close. Not like that. It's more than that. And it's, it's, it's less than that. We were friends when we were kids, but now, Max reminds me of a bunch of stuff that I'd rather forget. The only thing that we have in common anymore is Isabel. And before you ask, yeah, I'm totally in love with Isabel. I want to be with you. But not if you're wasting your life, you know? I can't believe it was Shyamalan by an evil twin. No one would believe us if we told them. It's gonna sting. I know. can't get over Maria's story. My mom's pardon it all. She was magnificent. Mm. What was it Maria said? That she was a genius yeah. and a fighter? Mm. Maybe uh, Nora is the block that you're a chip off of and not Jones. Mm. Maybe she is. I just can't believe I've been spending my whole life trying to find a way to call aliens and my mom already built one. I've seen it, actually. The Lockhart machine. Now I know why it's named that. The deep sky? Which means despite how much you want to, you can't show it to me. Well, you know what? I'm gonna talk to my boss, Eduardo, about working on it together. 
I completely get. The literal definition that an alien might not get clearance to tap with a screwdriver. I gotta admit, I'm surprised to hear you say that. One mission at a time, right? You know what, though? If it, uh, if it makes all the suffering from the crash in 47 worth it, and it helps Max in the process, then I will tell you everything that I know about it. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Wait, I'm confused, though. Yeah. What is the mission you're working on right now? What do I owe this spread of Comet Keeleys and flying sauce cakes? I am just making sure you are back in fighting shape. How's that not gonna hold up after you're running with the Lockhart machine? Much better, thank you. Good. Especially now that you're here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, at ease, soldier. We're not the same kids we were back in high school. In the back of a pickup truck. Wishing on a shooting star. Feels different now between us. Yeah. It's better. Mm. But it's still, um... Cosmic? Yeah. You sang to me in a crowded cowboy bar. So I am here to tell you Alexander Maines. I'm home. Specs of this radio now match that of the Lockhart machine. I just have to uh, make some alien glass out of all the turquoise you said you had to mine, but I found a bunch in a drawer here, so. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm sort of freaked out. Are you afraid this isn't gonna work? I'm afraid we're only getting the start of something. You know, we never even went on a real first date. We never walked down Main Street holding hands. I need you to know, if this goes bad tomorrow, I love No, you. don't say those words. We are going to win this, okay? Winning is what worries me. What, C can you explain that? What if I have to kill my own father? You gonna love me then? Am I still gonna love myself? That self-loathing is what caused this mess between us for 15 years. What's winning gonna do? Is it gonna set us right back to square one? Are we gonna be able to survive that war again if it does? No, listen to me. We are not who we were in high school, let alone a year ago. We already defeated one monstrous father and we will do it again. Is this serum to permanently sever Max from Jones? It's ready. I'll finish the wiring at the meat spot. You go to Deep Sky. Get us control of some radio towers, huh? Okay. Okay, so a couple things. The light switch right there, it weirdly works the room around the hall. Uh, the garbage disposal is iffy, and... Uh... Coffee table's where you fold the clothes. No, I took those out of my closet so that you could choose which side you want. 
Okay, so now everything here is yours, except for the level three clearance laptops um, and the satling phone and the hard drives. And the uh, Project X under the tarp, I assume? Um, <clears throat> well, actually, now that we live together, you get to see some of my secret shame. Oh. I know what the men in black stuff is, but what am I, what am I looking at here, Mains? Okay, when I was growing up, my mom knew that I was struggling with who I was, so she convinced me to help her build this model of the gazebo, my ideal Roswell. I have, uh, I've never shown this to anybody, so since we are blending our lives further, I wanted to show it to you. So now everything here, including my weird coping mechanism, is, uh, is yours. Hmm. Everything. Even this button? Hey, what was so urgent? You were right. Take the console with you to your secret treehouse. Michael, you don't have to do that. Yes, I do. I was stuck on this idea that this console was my way home, a place that I have dreamt of my entire life. But now I realize you are my home. And I trust you to take care of my dreams. Your dreams and your heart. Always. I hope I'm gone for days, not weeks, but I promise I will come home to you. So, what do you say? Let's get this sucker on the road to Deep Sky. Yeah, I don't think we need to. I thought I could get me home sooner, and I knew you were having trouble settling in, and I didn't want you to feel abandoned. But I have faith that our relationship can survive being apart. I do. I have something for you. They're made of the uh, first piece of alien glass I ever found, and the pieces they want to be together. I trust that no matter what comes our way next, no matter how far apart from each other we are in this world, we will always find our way back to each other. Kiss me before you bust my lip. I cannot believe that it's actually you. I'm just so happy you found me. I knew you had to be here somewhere. I'm here. You're here. Where is here, exactly? My dad created this space as a kind of interdimensional mousetrap for Jones and his merry band of followers. Because I know you, Michael. You've been searching for home since we met. Look, Oasis, Roswell, I don't care if we are on other sides of the universe. As long as we are looking at the same stars, I will never look away. So this movie, how does it end? Pick your favorite sci-fi trope. We could um, detonate the asteroid heading towards Earth, shut down the giant lizard destroying the city, or it can end with a twist. Michael Guerin, will you marry me? This isn't where I imagined our engagement photos either, but I couldn't wait. We've already spent too much time apart. So? I can't.
Can't wait to see Sanders in a tux. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am so in love with you, it's embarrassing. I love you too. How far did you say those trees were? Like 10 miles. Yeah, we could work with that. <laughs> How do you tie a tie? Yeah! Who would have thought that I'd be named an honest alien, huh? Okay, so I've done a lot of things over the years uh, that have inadvertently embarrassed the man that I love. <laughs> but now we're married, so I'm going to intentionally embarrass you. <laughs> My husband wrote a song uh, for us about getting past everything that stood in our way. I cannot top that, but I can say thank you. What's someone else's song? in your eyes the color them wonderful stop me to steal my breath emeralds from mountains the frost towards the sky now that we're feeling them down and tell me that we belong together dress it up with the trappings of love realized hmm. I married my high school sweetheart <laughs> here I am just thinking about the future I can't wait to sign my first check Alex Garen Garen never been much of a mains man you know Let's get the hell out of here. 